Welcome back to some more PGL for part number 19 and this is recorded the same day before Watermail Cup and we're raising on Saturday December 13th. I think I want to do one more part before we get off because I can see an invitation event right on the 16th right there. Our first championship will be the Never River Open in St. Petersburg. This time, instead of using a Crest F vehicle, we now use a Crest E vehicle. This is strange though. We're doing a cone sprint, an overtake challenge, and a hot lap challenge. And it's no idea it looks like. I already know what car I want to use for uh, Crest E though. But it's not going to be these two. It is going to be with the brand new Honda 2000 CL. Where well, it was made 2008, but still, it was brand new to the game. And... The color. I'm, I'm going to go for yellow though. I don't know why, but... Hey, you can never go wrong with this one. Yellow, the uh, yellow color. Okay, the track... For this cone sprints for round number one will be at the track Nevsky one for one lap in snowy weather. And it will have, you know, these specific bonuses for kudos and stuff. And shoot, I also forgot that I have to show the opponents. I mean, like, I mean, like, this is just so stupid. I don't want to keep forgetting this, you know. Alright, so the opponents for one will be Anna Wong. Would be past opponents, Andrew Wong and our 4250 TTO, Pais McHale and his 4665 TTP for Daytona, and Bjorn Kubi and his Nona 500 Max. Also, it looks like we have two drivers that switch his vehicles for Crash E now. <laughs> this is this is nice. <laughs> this is nice. I mean, Bjorn Kubi drove with Cyclone, he now drives a Nona 500 Max, and Pais McHale drove with ESA Ghost Star, he now drives a 4265. Too bad that we won't see those opponents out onto out onto the track though because yeah. Overtake doesn't really count. You don't face up against the opponents that's in overtake. You gotta have had the maximum um, the maximum number of cars you can achieve. You gotta pass many as many cars as you can and stuff. Note that this S2000 is also a DLC car. Oh, we gotta be careful. I mean, some of the here are also icy as well. Oh no, oh no! Oh! You can say that was a... That was a time gone wasted. Because I have to go back right here. Not getting any, well, I don't think you know, not getting any cone the cone gases and green cones, but not getting any cones down will waste the kill those. It doesn't make put you at time penalties and stuff. So that's gotta be nice. Okay, gotta pass the second checkpoint, gotta see the time difference. Oh my five seconds, okay, so I'm so good. I'm so good. That was a bunch of kudos just lost when I, you know, hit the wall though because um, <laughs> my car was just getting loose and I didn't want to suffer a time penalty. I mean, time penalties can also waste your kudos as well, so I'm not sure why. On track kudos are just the, the things that saves you. If you earn as many kudos as a game when you're challenging you in a bad position, it could possibly save you just once. Come on, we. Can we win this first round? It looks... We just barely beat it by like about 3 seconds. Okay, there we go. We won the first round just barely by 3 seconds. Yeah. Let's go on to the next round. It's gonna be an overtake challenge at the track, the short track Arctic Square Circle in snowy weather. Same position bonuses for Kyoto boards as well. Uh, my God, that was that was one of the, that was the difficult one, considering that the walls were icy too. 
Alright, so we gotta pass at least 8 vehicles now. Ben Huli has already surpassed all of us by passing 7 vehicles. Oh, hi. I'm just recording here. Recording. I'm recording right now. I'm gonna win the medal. What position I I am place? Final round. Uh, hot lap. At the track, Puskins places for three laps in snowy weather. Okay, I can uh, talk my commentary out because <laughs> he just immediately took a shower when he came in. He's immediately taking a shower right now, though. Is he just? <sighs> I won't. Alright, so we just gotta be a time of 1 minute and 13 seconds of one lap. But we gotta also do those two other levels to complete this challenge. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the fact that I didn't talk um, mainly in round number 2 is because of the fact that um, it feels better when you're recording alone at the house. Yeah, I did, I did have some um, thoughts that... Oh, oh, we're behind. 0.78 seconds behind. Okay, well, okay. There, there were thoughts coming to my head whenever I should have a time. Whenever I should find a good time recording. Because recording alone is the best time. But I also, record, I also want to record the pause alone since, you know... If you're recording in front of... Um, if you're recording your commentary in front of people... They will find. They will feel strange around you. Uh, they will feel strange around you. Around you. I mean, when you, they see that you have mixed reactions to uh, to something. It's just um. It's just you know very strange, and they feel very weird around you. And they don't want to get away from you. That was a quick shower, I think, because I just felt the curtain. Great process. Swipe by. <laughs> I just beat their time. I just first one out, but and still, I have to keep going to finish this off. That just happened.
ですね AI don't like up. That's the end of the Never River Open. Our first championship game in Europe. And I just won regardless of everything that just happened between those three. Going to who we take second, we keep it third and one last. Championship is now done. go and we just passed Thomas Baumgartner no. no for 47th and <laughs> invitation of Macau let's see what this is electric versus patrol showdown can an electric car be the four Tesla Rosa on the track succeed in a Tesla Rosa is yours hmm let's see a one-on-one -on -one battle with the Macau try against the Tudo Power Technico with two of them clear weather. And this is the part where post commentary steps in though. Yes, this is exactly post commentary. It's not like a stage everything to be post commentary. My brother was actually home at the time that this was recorded. And when he got out of the shower, that time, well, I was about to start this race up, he got out of the shower and I was like silent for like rest of the time. Um, because I didn't want to act like the like a fool out in front of him. <laughs> it's just, it's just you know awkward because, yes, it it does feel weird recording the video on your own when you have other people in the house because, heck, I have I I have a better time recording at at home alone rather than having people in the house. Man. Anyways, yeah, in this um invitation event it was. I think it was our, f um, our first one-on-one -on -one invitational. Yeah, it is. This challenge wanted to see if we could get a Tesla Rosso to face up against a Ford Tesla Rosso, which you see that driver named like there. It's driven by another world driver named Jakek Jakek Mercha, and I like that name. I seem to feel like that's gonna be my main rival because he would appear as a test driver. For invitationals, I mean, how do you think that you don't see his name in that one-on-one -on -one event? <laughs> so yeah, this challenge was to see if the Tesla Rosa could face up against the Ferrari Tesla Rosa. Anyways, <laughs> yep, that's my phone going up with the email. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, there was some there was some things I have to discuss with you. Um, also by the time this is live recording was the day. Before the one miracle race, but by the time this post comes to you, it's recorded, the race will have already been done. But I have something to say to you guys that's gonna shock you. I didn't actually go to the one miracle race. If you follow my tweets on Twitter, I didn't actually go to the one miracle race. Now it's not my fault because, um, it's not primarily my fault though. It happened to be my friend's fault. But it's not, but like, he didn't do it on purpose though. And it's not like my mother. Well, I didn't want me to go because of a waste of money for tickets to go there. He would, she would have been happy for me to go there. She would, um, 
here's a problem regarding to why I couldn't go. So, um, my friend has a car, a very cool car, and then his car had to go repaired at the shop in the previous, um, from the last week, includes the days from this week. And unfortunately, he sent me a text saying that he could not take me to the race today because his car had more problems with it and it's gonna be in the shop to get repaired by next week. So apparently, um, yeah, he couldn't use his girlfriend's car too because she works on the weekends and the race is on the Saturday too. And Saturday is part of the weekend, so. Also, I also offered if he could borrow, you know, another car that, you know, my mother knew about. But it wasn't gonna work out since he lived 30 minutes away from me and he would have to take his bike there. But when he arrives, it would be like 3 hours already. <laughs> so yeah, that was a problem I already um, made. But it was fine anyways. I watched every... <laughs> Regardless of why the parts were not, you know, recorded daily. Because I watched TV on it, I watched TV on the insides of the World America race. I even watched qual I even watched qualifying for all three races, as well. Yeah, all three series. So yeah, that's gotta be sweet. And it was amazing how a driver could get his first win on that track. I'm not gonna tell you who won, but figure it out yourself. So <laughs> I don't want to spoil the winner, but I will tell you that this driver just got his first win in one in one of the three major series. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that was a problem, but we're gonna try to work it out for next year. For World America in 2017. Yeah, <laughs> I can po I can definitely post some tweets or pictures there. Anyway, so this race is now done. This was just made. The Tesla Roadster was also like very silent and it only had two gears. Why like, the Porsche Fox is only had one gear though. <laughs> They're both electric cars, but you know, the Tesla Roadster has two gears, but the Porsche has one gear. So that's uh, kind of random. <laughs> Okay, so this invitation event is not done, and also I was silent throughout the rest of this um, part of the video that I didn't do my outro, so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do it right now. Next part will be this championship. Alright everyone, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a very good night.